going on YouTube? What's going on Vinyl Community? It's LJ. Here's another video. Why? Two VC Love Train packages in the mail. But not just that. It's a sneak peek at one of my next videos. It's been a long time since I shot a gear video and I crossed paths with something pretty awesome. It is this. This is the Sony TC355 reel-to-reel -reel deck. 1969, 1970-ish, just got it in, just got the surface cleaned up, just starting to tear into it. Gonna need to pop it open, give it a good cleaning, a little bit of lubrication here and there, and this will be the subject of one of my next videos. Stay tuned, check it out. Feels good to be doing gear videos again. Oh yeah. Okay, so what this is about is two seriously cool VC members that send two seriously cool packages that we are going to seriously open here live on YouTube. What's playing in the background? Van Halen's Different Kind of Truth. Man, right up there with Clockwork Angels as one of the releases of 2012. It's just unreal. Okay, package number one. This is from Vinyl Community member Jimmy Jameson. Uh, previously known as One Big Holiday 5187, now known as Jimmy Jameson. Pretty steady, uh, steady flurry of posts from Jim, which has been cool to see. Some great stuff. There's a link down here in the description. Highly recommend anyone go subscribe to Jim. Show some cool stuff. Very cool, relaxed delivery. Very even guy. Some cool stuff. Uh, Jim, I'm picking up on a lot of new stuff from uh, your videos, like Baron Ants and bands I, I've overlooked and just haven't heard of, which is awesome. So Jim and I did some trades. He uh, showed some things in some of his videos, so I got in touch with him and he knew I was gonna, man. He just patiently waited. He had me like a fish on a line with one of these that I think is here. Um, and you'll know why when I pop it open if you follow my channel. So I put together a couple packages for Jim, got him right out. Uh, he opened one live a couple days ago. There was another package um, that I'm hoping got to you today, Jim. If not, let me know and we'll see if we can hunt it down. Good old postal service at work. Here we go. See what we have. I see a note. Uh, I'll read this offline. Very cool handwritten note. Lots of love and touch there. I see some bubble wrap and oh yeah, all right. Here we go. So straight away we start with uh, the babies. Baby's debut. I had recently shown um, Head First was a pickup, the baby's record. And uh, I was so disappointed when I got home and played it. There was a crack, actually a crack, all the way through the vinyl on track one. And that just sucked because I put it on. I didn't see it in the store. And it started going ka clack, ka clack, ka clack. I was, oh man, I was so bummed. So Jim mentioned, hey, you know, I have some babies records that you're interested in. Absolutely. So there's the baby's debut. I can't wait to tear into that. 1976. Very cool. Baby's Union Jack, 1980. Oh, just fantastic. Jim mentioned he had these in his closet, and I uh, was curious if I wanted them. I'm very happy to adopt both of these. Uh, a pre uh, elevator FM rock, missing you, John Waite, and the babies just rock. I love them. Let's see. Journeys to Glory, Spandu Ballet. Oh, fantastic. Jim, that's awesome. Uh, everyone knows I have a serious penchant from 80s, new wave and synth pop, new romantic, and I have three or four Spandau Ballet LPs, but I've never even seen this one, Journeys to Glory. Jim, that's just awesome. Oh man, that's exciting. 1981, so right around that ABC lexicon of love, really strong new romantic, Duran Duran just breaking onto the scene kind of time. Oh, that's fantastic. I can't wait to spin that. <laughs> Here's the one that started it all. This uh, started the PMs. This is the Marshall Tucker Band's Greatest Hits. So this was released in 2011. This was to uh, celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Marshall Tucker Band. So here is a double LP gatefold, 180 gram vinyl, three previously unreleased live songs, and a free digital download card. Jim, I'll send you the code for that if you want it. Um, this is one that, when it was released, I kind of struggled with this. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I love Marshall Tucker, and I love supporting them. But back here, this is kind of a, a country rock, southern rock collection back here. And like, these two cubes are just loaded with country and southern rock. Marshall Tucker starts right around here and goes through there. And I have every studio release. I absolutely love them. Of course, the earlier stuff is better uh, than the later period stuff. 
So Jim held us up and he said, hey, I won a record in a, a radio contest, not really sure what to do with it. Here it is. And that was just like, whoosh, lying into the water, whoop, got an LJ, you know what I mean? So it was like, I, I couldn't get in touch with him fast enough and say, what can I do? You know, to uh, to convince you to part with it. I'm sure you could sell it for 20, 25 bucks, but um, do you want to trade for some stuff? And that was what initiated the whole thing. So I'm super happy to have this home. That's just awesome, Jim. Thank you so much. That makes me super happy. Um, and especially because I was able to trade things off, you know, from my collection for her, which is cool, rather than go out and drop another 25, 30 bucks. So I guess it uh, necessarily doesn't support the artist kind of thing, but. Whatever. <laughs> very cool. Very, very cool. And the uh, the two babies LPs, the Spando Ballet LP, Jim. I'm super happy. Um, I saw your your face and your reaction with just package number one, so it seems like you're happy. Hopefully package number two just takes you all the way there, and that lands either today or tomorrow. Let me know if it doesn't. Jim, fantastic, man. Thank you so much. And everyone, please subscribe to Jim. Next up, I did receive a package from vinyl community member King's Drummer. King's drummer is the drummer for the legendary Alphabet Asylum. <laughs> Gil, I love the CD. King's drummer is Gil. Gil is West Coast. He's in um, California. And Gil, Gil and I have just been running buddies since like early 2011. You know what I mean? We were kind of came on YouTube at the same time. And I think I've never missed a single King's drummer video uh, since he started. And I just, I love Gil, you know, from the early days where he would uh, kind of shoot his videos in front of a bureau and having watched Gil grow and evolve into like this music room and now he's surrounded by records, it's like, I mean, I just, I love Gil and I never miss a Gil video. Uh, I was just mentioning to Gil that I have something headed off for him as well and he kind of surprised me. He said, hey, threw something in the mail for you, bro. What, really? And it's funny, because I, I just let him know that uh, his band, CD, he plays drums for Alphabet Asylum. And I'll, uh, I'll end this video with, uh, with a clip of this. Hopefully Gil doesn't mind if I do that. So you can check it out and uh, touch base with Gil if you're at all interested in what you hear. This is just some funky Southern California shit. I mean, it is just awesome. So I let Gil know that this has been in my car since I got it ooh, six months ago. I've had this for a while. Um, it's just a great, great, great album. And Gil, I finally brought it in the house so I could play uh, so what did Gil send? I have no idea. No idea. He didn't um, touch base with me or anything, so I have no idea what's in here. So we'll kind of just pull them out one by one. It's like, all right. We have um, a note. Again, another one that I'll read offline. We have a copy of Jeff Tull's Benefit, which is a phenomenal album. And I'm guessing he just put it in here to um, protect everything else in the box. All right, cool. So we have Wall Art. Right? It's like, Gil knows I already have this. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man, this is awesome. Check this out. If there are... Oh, Gil, you kill me. Two albums that are missing from my collection, and I can't even remember if I mentioned this to him or not. I think I may have, because it's just too coincidental. Tesla's Mechanical Resonance. And... Tesla. Oh, this is just awesome. Great radio controversy. Gil, this is sealed. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Gil, just too cool. And like he tricked me with the Jethro Tell. Here's uh, Donovan. More wall art. I have both of those, but I didn't have both of these. Gil, that's just, that's awesome, man. So Mechanical Resonance has one of my favorite 80s metal songs um, in its modern day cowboy. I absolutely love that track. It's just perfection. I must have mentioned to Gil at some point that I was looking for these, and Gil, I'm guessing you found them. So, well, obviously you found them, but Gil, that's just awesome, man. Thank you so much. These are uh, so these are two LPs that I've just wanted forever, and Gil mentioned uh, he's kind of looking for some good jazz funk listens lately, and that's definitely something that I was able to help him out with. So, Gil, keep your eyes open for a return package. And in the meantime, thank you so much. And what a huge smile I have on my face. Uh, a sealed copy of The Great Radio Controversy. And it won't stay sealed long. So it's going to get listened to and enjoyed. And Mechanical Resonance. Both are just absolutely phenomenal. Gil, thanks for thinking of me. Man, that's just the best. You know, when you kind of head out and you dig in and you think of people in the BC. So Gil, absolutely awesome. Thank you. Um, Jim, as well, with the, uh, the babies, Spandau Ballet and the new Marshall L. Tucker LP. Man, the vinyl community is just the greatest place on earth. 
Guys, links to both of their channels are down here in the description, so if you're not linked up, get linked up, get subbed up, check them both out. They're both great people. Um, Package is headed out to both of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and play this video out with a little bit of Alphabet Asylum. So enter the, the cool transition fade here, and I'll catch you guys later. Take care, BC. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Gil. Ciao. Like I'm sucking on a titty, feeding me the gossip, sweet and dark like chocolate. Famous